Under the Ocean has some nice gems that we can go out and gather, ranging from the cooking ingredients needed to the horse gear we can craft. It's now easier to start getting into underwater gathering, though some items have been removed. Welcome back to the channel that spends too much time on dead content. My name is Teddy, and with all the changes to underwater breathing and the gathering minigame, today I'll be showing you what items you can still get and how to start extending your underwater breathing to gather coral easier. Underwater gathering can be done at any level and technically any gear, though without underwater breathing gear, it can be a little harder. Getting the gear to help with this though is pretty simple, but with the introduction of the Land of the Morning Light, changed how we get some of the underwater breathing gear. Not only has the ways we can extend our breathing changed a little, but the amount we're able to gather has been increased with the gathering minigame. Not only does this help with making those seafood crons meals or getting all those colored coral, but just the money that can be made has also been increased if you get lucky. With all the cool goodies we can find out under the ocean, underwater gathering does have some downsides to it. Black Desert doesn't really explain how to get started gathering around the islands, nor does it have any hints to direct players to search underwater for coral. Even with the lack of direction, there's not a lot of coral spots that can be found, which can cause a lot of players to not try underwater gathering, leaving it as dead content. But let's be honest, unless you need glue or coral, you wouldn't try gathering around any of the islands, nor would you think you can gather underwater, other than having workers drying fish for the chance at the fishermen's bags or using the central market. Those are mainly the reasons why people consider underwater gathering dead. Underwater gathering is easy to do, but requires certain items to make sure it can be done smoothly. Throwing on your best gathering gear and tools, using any kind of boat, hopping underwater breathing buffs, and just finding a spot around the islands. Once you do find a spot, diving can be done by hitting Q for PC users, and hitting E on the keyboard will make you swim to the surface. Stamina can be recovered by hitting F, and all the buttons can be seen on the screen if you're still confused. Diving will consume breath each second under, which, if you're not using any underwater breathing items or buffs, will not last long. So, before you can start looking for a spot to gather coral, you'll first need to get the gear to keep you gathering underwater longer. Starting off, using gathering mastery gear is recommended with Trilogia gathering clothes and accessories being the sweet spot and the cheapest to get. Trimanos or higher clothes and accessories will give the better drops and more experience having better gathering mastery but do cost a lot more. For tools, the Magic, Lucky, or Demihar is recommended for below 600 gathering mastery. For those with 600 mastery or higher, much like the gathering clothes, Trilogia is the cheaper option, and Tri or higher Manos is the best but more expensive. I won't get in depth with all the gathering gear and items we can get since I did cover it in my ultimate gathering guide, which I recommend checking out if you need a more in-depth look at gathering in general. A link can be found down below, and while you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying all the life scaling content here on the channel. Alternately, for those who don't care about the extra drops, we do have the unaltered bubbly diving suit. This is worn like armor and boasts a plus 30% underwater breathing and is an option if not using mastery clothes. This can be obtained from the sea palace while active and if you know if it'll be a permanent thing like the fish tank, comment down below. I am curious if this one is time gated like the other underwater gear items in the past events. As for the costumes, we do have a couple choices. Like I already mentioned, the first choice is the bubbly diving suit. This can be earned from the sea palace event while it's active. Active, this can be turned into a costume with the equipment tailoring coupon earned from events or from the pearl shop, but when made into a costume, the bubbly diving suit gives plus 90 second underwater breathing and plus 90% swim speed. These can be stored at a storage or sent to another character, making it a perfect solution for not having the shark costume. The next choice is the splash swimming goggles. This is another great option for those needing underwater breathing and can be created at any level 2 costume mill. These only have plus 20 second underwater breathing but is the only free choice if you missed out on any of the events or couldn't get any of the items that can't be obtained anymore. Like stated, these goggles can be made at any level 2 costume mill using 10 translucent crystals, 10 silk, 5 iron ingots, 10 trace of wave, and lastly, 35 blackstone powder. Wearing this will take up a head slot for the costumes and can be worn with the unaltered diving suit too. For those who were lucky enough to visit Port Rat before it was removed, did have the option to get the Vatabin diving mask. This is a lesser version of the swimming goggles sporting a plus 15 second underwater breathing and will take the same head costume slot as the goggles. The NPC namesake that gave the quest is no longer in the game, making this a rare item to have. 
Next is a clear choice when it comes to underwater gathering. This is the Dum Da Dum Diving Suit from the Pearl Shop. This is the better choice for underwater gathering. These are great for multiple things like the chest alone having plus 90% swim speed, less stamina consumed while swimming, plus 30 seconds to underwater breathing for the hat, and while wearing the full set we do get 59% more swim speed. These can only be bought from the Pearl Shop and rentals can be given out during events. Costumes like the Splatfisher costume will have the same swim speed and stamina cost as the diving suit, while the Coco and El Pinto swimsuit also has plus 105 swim speed total and stamina cost while swimming. These can be worn with the bubbly diving suit for the plus 30 seconds underwater breathing if you didn't turn it into a costume. Unfortunately, these were either earned during the 2022 Temerian event or from the Pearl Shop. Now to address the bubbly diving suit versus the shark costume and which one's better. Wearing either one has their trade-offs and personally I think are situational. With the bubbly diving suit, this does have plus 60 seconds more underwater breathing, minus 59% swim speed when altered though. As for the da dum da dum, wearing one gives plus 59% more swim speed, stamina consumed while swimming, but does come with 30 seconds less underwater breathing. If you're not trying to do long rotations and only need a small area like the Koi Island spots, the diving suit may be better, but for larger areas like Narvo Island that needs more swimming, the faster shark costume might be better for you. Lastly, movement speed does affect swim speed, so wearing a full look of Fortuna 3-piece set will give plus 3 movement speed if you're not wearing any gathering clothes. Moving away from the clothes and the costumes, we do have a couple options when it comes to underwater breathing. It may not be a lot, but there still are some. The Magic Crystal of Infinity Submergence has a nice plus 15 second underwater breathing per crystal with two being allowed to be slotted. These can be made using alchemy on two green crystal, two magic crystal of crimson flame precision, two clown's blood, two sapphire, and lastly, two essence of destruction. Submergent crystals can also be bought off the central market too. Next, we have the Agile Seal Elixir. The normal green grade elixir of seal gives plus 10 seconds for 5 minutes, while the blue grade has plus 15 seconds underwater breathing but last 8 minutes. Making these elixirs can be done using alchemy with 3 dwarf mushroom, either for wolf, rhino, cheetah dragon, or flamingo blood, and lastly, 5 purified water. A party version can be made using the owl's tear, which will give the effects up to 5 party members for 15 minutes. All these can also be put off the central market too. Hard boiled shellfish is great for underwater gathering, giving plus two gathering and plus 10 seconds to underwater breathing for 60 minutes with the green grade and 75 minutes for the blue grade hard boiled shellfish. These can be made using cooking on two dried pearl oyster meat, three essence of liquor, four garlic, two hot pepper, and lastly, five olive oil or can be bought off the central market too. The last thing we can do to extend underwater breathing is with the fairy skills. Fairy skills can be annoying needing the luck to get certain skills or real money to re-roll the skills buying the Thea's Orb from the Pearl Shop. Though the level and tier of the fairy will help out how many skills can be learned or just learning the skill outright, those with some luck can get the Tingling Breath fairy skill. Tier 1 of this skill has plus 5 seconds to underwater breathing, with tier 5 sporting a nice plus 20 seconds to underwater breathing. After getting all your gathering gear, your items, and buffs needed, now we're gonna have to find a spot to go out and gather all the coral. Like stated already, there's no direction given to knowing where to go or what spots have any coral in the game, but I do have a couple of locations that can be found around the islands that will have you spending hours gathering lobster or even the pearl oysters. Even though this can be done using any kind of boat, faster boats are recommended like the Etheria Cog. Let's just jump into the location, shall we? The best spot, in my opinion, for coral and pearl oyster has to be Anaha Island. Off the coast has the most giant pearl oysters that we can find around the islands, but also has the most fit coral, making it a little annoying searching around through what can be gathered. To add to that, this is one of the deeper spots, which will require a lot of underwater breathing, so keep that in mind when building your underwater gathering set. Next, we have Lima Island. Around here, we can find a huge amount of coral that we can gather and isn't too far from the other gathering spots. All around the coastline and above Tashu Island has spots with little to no fake coral and can be done without needing the most underwater breathing being shallow enough. 
Sailing up north is Aquila's Eye. There are a few coral that can be found here, some pearl oyster, but has a lot of fake coral and dead coral around. There's ruins under the water that you can get lost in, so be careful, and the center has a chance to kill you once the eye becomes active. Another spot is the northern Kuwait Island spots. These spots were great when heading out to where the land of the morning light is now, but can still be done. Between the smaller islands up here in the north has a slightly deeper spot with a nice amount of giant pearl oysters and less fake coral to sort between. Above the last island a little ways north just before Megoria we have another less deep spot with less oyster but slightly more coral. Because it's near Megoria, much like Aquila's eye, we can find green coral needed for the coral crystal. Continuing sailing around we have the Narvo island here. This spot is good for finding coral with being one of the more shallow spots and sports less fake coral. Downside to coming out here is it's one of the spots with the less amount of giant pearl oysters, but three spots can be found around the coast and the last spot can be found just above the Liz Island here. Sailing towards the islands near Port Euphoria is Oban Island. There is a spot north of the island here. It does have a lot of fake coral, but does have a decent amount of coral that can be gathered around here. This is not going to be the go-to spot for most, but can be added into a rotation for more chances at lobster and the colored coral pieces if hitting all the gathering spots. But don't worry, sailing down to the southern part of the island has a lot more spots to gather. From Oban Island down to the Dundee Island and Eberdeen Island here has a lot more coral we can find with little to no fake coral around. There's two more spots at the northern and southern points of Natnume Island. I probably pronounced that wrong. Sadly, Dundee Island is not going to be a spot if you're looking for any giant pearl oysters. The last spot we can find, which is another favorite spot of mine, is Waves Rest. This spot is amazing for all the amounts of coral we can find, but mostly there's a nice amount of purple and green coral that can be found for the coral crystal. Not to mention, there's also a Tradana and giant pearl oyster that can be found. There's some fake coral around here, but it's still worth coming out here looking for lobsters. Or if you're just AFK fishing. There are lesser areas that can be found that don't have as much coral or giant pearl oysters, which I don't recommend going out and finding. These spots are more than enough to do any gathering, but if you do know of another spot I did miss, let me know, and I might make a short about it. Between Anaha Island and Waves Rest, gathering coral is extremely easy. I hope this helps you start going out and gathering all the coral needed or just getting the glue to sell for huge amount of money. Having no clear way of finding where to go gather coral or just even how to start underwater gathering, there's really no incentive to go out and do it yourself when you can just go on the central market and buy all the ingredients. I've spent a lot of time doing all the dead content like harpooning or underwater gathering like this. And after spending some time learning and getting familiar with everything, making money with all this dead content can be fun, though it's not going to make as much as mob grinding. But while you're down there under the ocean looking around for coral, you can check out more life scaling content for Black Desert here on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep gathering out there.